All right, here's a live look from Ocean City tonight as Tropical Storm Elsa continues churning up the East Coast, bringing, as you can see, some heavy rain and whipping winds that are starting to pick up. The storm is still moving across the Southern Maryland region as we take a look at live Doppler radar. Welcome to the news at 11, everyone. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Vic Carter. It may not seem like it here in Baltimore, but Tropical Storm Elsa is blowing her winds and bringing plenty of wet weather as she takes aim at Maryland's coastline this evening. And before the storm rolled in, it was dry for most of the day. Beachgoers in Ocean City tried to make the most of it. The beach in Ocean City was filled with tourists from all over just hours before Elsa arrived. The water seemed calm earlier in the day, but as soon as the surf turned up and those gray skies rolled in, those beachgoers rolled out of the sand. And tonight, a flash flood watch actually in effect for us locally until tomorrow morning. WJC is live. We have team coverage, the storm's impact on Maryland, and we begin with investigator Mike Helgren live in Ocean City. Mike. Vic and Rick, I think we're going to feel the brunt of it here in coastal Maryland. We're feeling those bands of wind and rain right now. The winds have really picked up here in Ocean City tonight. Ocean City's boardwalk was wet and windy as Elsa's bands hit Maryland. Lots of rain, lots of wind. The wind is picking up drastically. It's kind of cold. The wind is very strong. I was going to get $100 to get in the water, but way too cold. We are from the south, and it rains all the time there, and we just go out in it. We play in the mud, and we're used to this. Umbrellas were out for the first tropical weather system of the season. It brought with it a tornado threat, several inches of heavy rain, gusty winds. Describe the wind right now. <laughs> very brutal. It's brutal. <laughs> it's brutal. It's aggressive. Just waiting to see what's going to happen, trying to get back to our hotel and safely. Many who have been homebound during the pandemic are not letting the storm ruin their vacations. No. This is our first vacation without kids in 21 years, so no. <laughs> <laughs> Go Ocean City! <laughs> the surf started getting a little rougher earlier in the day, and lifeguards will be monitoring for dangerous rip currents. Well, Elsa is certainly the first tropical event that we're going to experience for the year, so it's a wake-up call for the uh, departments in the community to get ready. We think we're going to do just fine and community's ready and let's get back into business. And that was the emergency management director. You can see I'm quite a bit wet out here. Now there is that threat of tornadoes we've been telling you about that is going to be overnight. So make sure you are weather aware and you listen to the alerts. Reporting live in Ocean City, Mike Helgren, WJZ.